Hey y'all. Um, it has been a hot minute since I have made a YouTube video. Um, we have been busy with all the homesteading things. We've been out there for just over a year now. And for the first year, we did not have any internet. We just got internet. <laughs> and so, um, I kid you not, it would take me a week to two weeks for one YouTube video to upload, which is just insanity. And I just did not have time for that with doing all of the normal homesteading things. So I've uploaded stuff on, um, or I've posted stuff over on Facebook and Instagram and done reels and things like that. But the YouTube videos just were a bit much. And so I'm excited to now have internet. I'll be posting more videos. I've got several kind of in the lineup that I'm ready to do. And so I'm excited to kind of be back and posting on YouTube again and um, have you guys catch up with us. So the last two weeks have been crazy and I just kind of wanted to give you an update on us and kind of what's going on. But I also wanted to share with you a bookstore experience that I just had a couple of days ago. Um, so last week, our family had to make an impromptu um, Florida trip because we had um, my grandfather pass away the 1st of December. And so um, I am sad for us about that, but I'm also really happy, happy for him because as believers, we know that the this world, it, we are just passing through. So all of the pain and the heartache and the, the struggle and the stress and the strife and all of that, um, that there is more than that and we're just passing through here. So there is hope on the other side if you know Jesus and my grandfather loved the Lord. So um, that's something that we have to look forward to. And so I'm really happy for him and where he's at. He's been ready to go home for a long time, ever since my grandmother passed, um, almost 10 years ago. And so he's been with us a lot longer than he wanted to be. <laughs> um, and I'm thankful for the time, but I'm also really happy for him right now. So, um, but we had to pick up and just make that impromptu trip to Florida. And if you know anything about having a homestead or a farm or anything like that, it's not easy to just pick up and go. And so I'm thankful for those who helped make that happen. But we went to Florida and we did make some fun memories with the kids while we were there. Um, and my littlest one got to see the beach for the first time. And so that was a lot of fun seeing that through her eyes. Both my husband and I grew up in Florida um, right near the beach. And so <laughs> it was fun to see it from a new perspective, from fresh eyes. Um, you know how that is if you've got kids, seeing things through their eyes is so much fun. But when we got back from Florida, I had one day to repack and turn around and leave again. Um, obviously the weather in East Tennessee is not the same as the weather in Florida. So we had to completely repack all of that stuff, change the wardrobe and everything. And, um, we had, my husband had a work training, um, trip that had been planned for a while. And so... I like to tag along whenever I can on that. It's a once a year thing. So I try to tag along just to have some quiet alone time. <laughs> Nobody's asking me for anything. Um, I don't have to deal with anybody's poop, animals or children. <laughs> so um, I have been looking forward to that. So we uh, <clears throat> dropped the kids off and had the neighbor watch our animals and um, I was able to get some alone time, but in the, in the flurry of trying to get back and repacking and leaving again, um, I forgot the things that I wanted to bring with me to just sit and relax. So, um, I had that like fuzzy yarn stuff that, um, you like hand knit those fluffy fuzzy blankets out of, and I was so looking forward to just sitting and trying to hand knit a blanket and just sit and read a book but I forgot all of those things. So when we checked into the hotel, um, they gave us a sheet of coupons for the shopping center that's right next door to the hotel. And so on that sheet was a coupon for Barnes & Noble. Now I have not been in a Barnes & Noble in 10 plus years. Um, and there was a reason for that, but I decided, you know what? Bookstores are my happy place. If you are a book lover, you know what I mean. You go into a bookstore and there's the smell of all the books and um, the lighting and all the different genres. You're just surrounded by ideas and colors and um, stories galore and just that whole atmosphere. 
the the music, the coffee shop, the places to sit and just get lost in a story. And so I just love it. They're just my happy place. I've always loved going in a bookstore. So I thought I will just go and my husband had his first training and I'll just go and hang out in the bookstore and enjoy myself and find a good book. So I walk into Barnes and Noble and I walked into their side entrance, not realizing at the time it was their side entrance. But when I walked in, I was immediately greeted with a whole display table with signage and everything promoting it. Um, and on this table was covered, it was covered with witchcraft stuff, spell books, potion books, all the things, all the witchcrafty things. And no, it was not like cutesy. It was not a joke. Not that I think that those things are ever cutesy in a joke, but, um, it, it was like they, they were being serious. Um, <laughs> So that immediately brought down the mood. Okay, all of a sudden I was like, <laughs> good feelings gone. And if that wasn't enough, then behind the table was an entire end cap full of more witchcrafty things in case you needed some more. Um, so I walked past that thinking, what in the actual heck, Barnes and Noble? Um, and I went looking for the religious section. I was trying to find me some Karen Kingsbury, some Francine Rivers, two of my favorite authors. Um, and I walked past, you know how in a bookstore, they don't just have the book stuff. There's always like calendars and little gifty type things and whatnot. So I walked past a calendar spinner and I look at the calendar spinner and immediately my eye catches a witchcraft calendar for 2023 in case you need to know all of the important witchcrafty dates. For 2023. Seriously, Barnes and Noble. Okay, moving on past the calendar. Um, so then I walked past the large fiction section and I glanced over there just in case maybe they put some of the Christian fiction in the um, fiction section. Uh, well, I didn't see any over there, but my eye did catch a couple of witchcraft themed, you know, uh, fiction books. Okay, moving past that, I did finally come to the religious section, which was small. Um, one aisle for the religious section, and obviously religious is a broad term, so they didn't just mean Christian stuff. Um, yeah, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> but anyway, um, that included Hindu stuff and... Um, self-help stuff it just it was it was kind of a large umbrella of things and so if you actually just were to combine the things that were actually Christian related it was like this much and so I'm pretty sure that they had twice as much three times as much I don't even know witchcraft stuff available for you um than the Christian stuff so and I get it it wasn't a Christian bookstore but Seriously, your audience is that heavily witchcraft because I have concerns. Um, anyway, but I did find, I found two books because I couldn't decide. <laughs> I couldn't decide between my two favorite authors and which one I wanted. So I got The Chance and I got The Atonement Child by Francine Rivers. If you've ever read any of those, you let me know if they're, which one you like the best. So I thought after I grabbed these two books, you know, after what I've walked through, I, th this is not feeling like the normal, oh, it's my happy place bookstore. It was, it, there was a very um, heavy feeling, discouraging. You know, I was, I was feeling down in this bookstore. It was the weirdest thing I've never felt. Um, I've never felt that way in a bookstore before. So that was, it, it was just very strange for me. And so I thought, you know, as a former teacher, as a mom of, of young kids, the the kids section is always a happy place, right? Right? So I'm going to go end my trip in the kids section and just look at cutesy things and uplifting things and leave this bookstore on a good note. So I head for the children's section and the very first table to greet me walking into the kids section, there is like a witchcrafty kids book. 
Y'all, I have never been so disappointed in a bookstore. So discouraged and just spiritually heavy and sad. Um, so I, I left Barnes & Noble. I did get my couple books. Um, left Barnes & Noble and I, I understand now why I have not been in one. And after that trip, I can say I have no plans to ever walk into a Barnes and Noble again. Um, yeah, I, I still consider bookstores my happy place. I still love books, but if I need a book, I will be walking right past Barnes and Noble <laughs> and I recommend that you do the same. <laughs> so that being said, um, today is our last day in the hotel and, um, so I thought I would check in with y'all. And as soon as we get back to our homesteading stuff, uh, I've got lots of stuff planned for videos. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one with more homesteading content. All right, see you later.